Okay. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Good day. Today Good day. is Friday. Friday. We are recording on a Friday. We're not sure if it's gonna the video is gonna go up today or tomorrow, like Saturday, like normal. But yeah. today is Friday, June eleventh. It is just after two o'clock here in Stratford, Connecticut, where we are coming to you from. I'm Kevin. And I'm Ray. And this is Needles at the Ready. We sure are. Oh, right. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> we, we totally no, are. No, we, totally no, we are absolutely needles are. At the ready. I, and, hold on. I'll be right back. And um. <laughs> And it begins. So, Needles at the Ready, this is our little knitting YouTube channel um, where we talk about what we're knitting, what we're crocheting if we do, sometimes some yarn dyeing, and I think that's about it. So, welcome back to all of our returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. Thank yeah. you so much for um, checking us out. How are y'all doing? Please feel free to <laughs> subscribe and like, comment, all that fun stuff. Right. So... We hope everybody's doing well, that you guys had a good two weeks. And how was our two weeks? Wow, busy. It was? Really busy. busy. Two weeks ago, we didn't do anything. So no, two, we did. So two weeks ago, we had... Oh, okay. So two weeks ago. Right? Lots of stuff happened last Sunday. We had two Sundays ago. Our, we had the Etsy shop update. Yes. So thank you to everybody who made a purchase. Um that was so nice. Yeah, it was really, really amazing. You guys have left some incredible feedback, and um, it's so exciting to see you starting to knit with some of the the yarn. Yeah, it was. It's really cool. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. um, thank you. Like, can't say thank you enough to everybody who made a purchase. So we did that on Sunday, and we followed that up on Sunday as well. We had our Zoom knit um day. It was a knit yeah, day. I think I called it something. I tried to get you a did little... a you said like Zoom craft the craft craft something. together or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so yeah. we just um, set up a Zoom meeting and had a bunch of y'all come and join us, and it was a lot of fun. It was we, a lot of fun. Um, hung out for like two and a half hours. Yeah, I want to say think so. Um, we had a bunch of people join us um, from all over the world, which yes. was really cool. Australia, Belgium, Ireland, or Ireland, Scotland, Scotland. Yeah, all was, over the UK. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, Germany. And I think it was really nice because there was a, a lot of people's like first opportunity to get together in that kind of setting, which we've been so lucky. And I know we've said this so many times that we've been so lucky to have found, you know, like technology a and a group of people where we can do a, a knit night weekly and, um, you know, have these interactions. And it's nice to be able to share that opportunity with other people. Yeah. Um, so it was really cool. My mom came, so that was nice. So hello, mom, if you're watching. Um, and before I totally forget and get, and I'm just gonna go off topic now, is that we are also using um, oh, a yeah. new iPad to record. So if you have any feedback, hopefully, like to me, it looks a little grainy. I look, a l I definitely feel like super shiny. But if you have any feedback, let us know because we can always go back to the iPhone. It's just um, this is so much easier for after the process. Yeah. So hopefully the sound's good and hopefully the video quality's good. Um, but yeah, let us know if you have any feedback on that. Yeah, that would be great. Because um, usually we record on the iPhone. I yeah, we normally use my iPhone and mm -hmm. then I'm not able to use it for a couple hours after we record. So it's just nice to be able to have that again. Yeah. I think it looks good. So we'll see. Um, so that was our two weeks. We did the... Well, yeah, that was that... That weekend. One that weekend. one day. Like <laughs> that one day. day it, was, um, yeah. it was a good day. It was a very good day. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I don't know. And then we worked. So that was Norm's. We watched a bunch of stuff, which we'll talk about later. Oh, yeah. I didn't even I didn't even try to I, like, I think inventory I, it in my head I beforehand know. because I feel like we watched so much stuff. And then this past week, we've both been off of work. So that's and, why we're recording today. Yeah. Well, also, tomorrow's going to be a busy day for us. Um, we are going to... Um, tomorrow is... What is it? Tomorrow's National Knit in Public Day. National or Worldwide? Worldwide Knit in Public Day. Yeah. So we are going to head to Knit New Haven, which is our local yarn store, Yep. to uh, sit outside, knit. We're going to meet up with a couple of the ladies from the Knitting Posse. We'll be going, and then hopefully we'll get to um, see a bunch of people and just hang out and knit. We've never participated. No, I'm so excited to like sit outside. We bought chairs. We yes. We kind of nerded out a little bit. Well, we bought those because we went to a outdoor knitting event. Not, even an, get, event. not an event, but a get-together like back in yeah. October. 
um, with a couple of the ladies from um, the Knitting Posse also, mm-hmm. and we realized that we don't have any, like... Are they only, like, in-person friends that, that we hang out with? That we Knitting friends? We need well, no, we hung out with Todd Michael Thomas. Oh, we did. That was and fun. And we met Michael at Knit New Haven. Oh, yeah. And... No, it's been um, fun meeting people. But, yeah, so we realized that we don't have, like, chairs that... right. We sat on the that floor. we could take with mm-hmm. us, like travel chairs, mm-hmm. so that if we're going someplace, we have some place to sit. So we sat on a blanket, and we decided to actually invest in chairs so we could take those with us. Mm-hmm. So I kind of nerded out us. a little bit. They have like settings and things. So yeah, so we're gonna do that tomorrow, and that's why we're recording today. Yeah. So that we don't have to feel rushed tomorrow morning to record. Yeah, um, and upload because we like to have it uploaded. You know, by Saturday afternoon. If and we can. sometimes YouTube just obviously takes a long time to do things. Yeah. So we um, thought it would be good to do today. And we've both been off, like you said. Yeah, we both we've both been had off. a very productive week. We did. We painted the bathroom, the Let's downstairs start bathroom. With your birthday. Oh, Monday was Kevin. my birthday. So thank you everybody who wished me a happy birthday on Instagram. Yeah. It's um I wish I could like get back to everybody with a personal message. I tried to heart a bunch of them that I could. So thank you. The love was felt. I appreciate it a ton. I turned 41. Now I'm like in it. Like I'm not just like starting a new decade. Well, you're still early 40s. Well, yeah. So that's not bad. No. But, you know, now I'm... a few more grays. I would say... Just kidding. No, I would say a lot more like... This is all gray, isn't it? No. Mine is... I think this is I'm getting gray. I'm getting very gray. There's a lot of gray. Like I have a patch like right here. I really do. I just want to go Anderson Cooper already. Like just go. Well, just dye it. No. Cuz then I'd have to do that all the time. Like I just wanted to be natural. Like just freaking wake up one day and just be hmm. all gray. I mean, I know it's going to happen. Well, obviously. if you wake up one day and you are all gray, then there's a problem. You hmm. know, just like well, if you go to bed like that and you wake up all gray, I think fine. that's a problem. Fine, fine. But yes, so we it was all my love birthday. you the way that you are. Oh, whatever happens, happens. Oh, such a bendito, <laughs> bendito. Oh. Um. So yeah. So we've been off. My bro- the, Kevin's birthday was a, a holiday around this place. I yep. got some really nice steaks. You did. We you really grilled. good steaks. Yep. We grilled. Um, got cheesecake because that's did my it. favorite cake. Yep. We got cheesecake. They have very limited options. I was looking for like a turtle cheesecake. Remember that one year for your birthday we got the turtle cheesecake? That was, it was delicious. So good. Um, and then that place closed down. No, it's still there. No. Yeah. I think I had gone the next year to get one and they didn't have any. Or they weren't there anymore. No, it's still there. Oh, it is? It's a oh, different name. I would have driven there had the, I known. The baker is still the same. Oh. Well, we um, had a Junior's Cheesecake. Those are really good cheesecakes. They are delicious. Not Never had a Junior's Cheesecake. Our local, one of our grocery stores carries them, so it's really nice to be able to get those. They're out of New York. Uh, what else? So to, uh, we cleaned our basement, organized, cleaned the basement, went to the dump one day mm-hmm. to just get rid of some crap. Boy, that junk piles up, huh? It sure Like does. when you're old dryer or whatever, and you've got like, we had some old blinds down there. Yeah, we actually scheduled a bulk pickup too for August, so that will help get rid of it. But it's made such a huge difference um, for me especially because I go down there when I mix all my dyes. Yeah. For dying, I do it in the basement. I have a table set up, a shelf with all the dyes on there. So, um, and I felt like I was like weaving in, in and out of stuff to get to well, like you the kind table. of were stepping over like an old air conditioner that was just like hanging out down there. Yeah. Problem is that I had cleaned the basement, like organized it, just it organized was very it, like well with shelves. Done. It was very well done. And then our toilet, yep. I don't know if we were podcasting at the time if we had talked about no, this or not, I, but it was like two years ago. I would, no. It happened when I was working from home on a Saturday. And the connect the water connection line for the toilet bowl broke off, water shot up everywhere, and it's right. This is our downstairs one, so the water flooded, pretty much like flooded the basement. So we mm-hmm. had to move everything around to use the dry vac and all that, right. and it, it just nev- we, it never we went never, back to its place. You know, no, that was low on our priority list. Yeah, it definitely was. But so we did that. We we did have a, a basementy basement. Yeah, we like don't have like a, a yeah. nice basement. No, it's a hundred year old house, and so. We have it's like a stone basement. Yeah, it's not. Um, it looks like a, a cave. It's not a poured or foundation or a like block foundation. No, it is a stone foundation. So the walls aren't like even. It's not fantastic. No, it's a basement. Yeah, yeah. And what else did we do? So we did that. We did <clears throat> Home Depot one day. Yeah, um, we got some um, some herbs. Herbs. 
Yeah, we have to replant those. Some pots and stuff to replant, some succulents and the herbs. Mm -hmm. We did the painted the downstairs bathroom. Yeah, we from picked out some paint. Dark blue to light blue. I have some pictures. So these are this is we didn't know what we were doing. No, this when is we gonna be the house. A, I think this is gonna be a really talky episode. This is gonna be a talky long episode. We now. have a lot of things to chat about today and show and stuff. So while you're looking for the pictures, let's talk about how I got attacked by birds. Oh my god, that was so crazy. So were you like hanging up your yarn and stuff? No, we were just hanging outside on the deck. And these um birds, I think the two of them were having an affair and the um Probably. the other either husband or wife Sorry. got involved and was really mad and yeah. the three of them had a fight next to my head right like, here right like, here their in wing flight. almost hit me in my ear yeah you didn't scream i was really proud of you no but you did um almost scream when we took tarquin for a walk the other day and remember we were like <laughs> yeah somebody was like weed whacking so, their fence or something we, stupid we were going around the corner and the i don't know what ha no somebody was working on their car and it sounded like he took like a grinder or something to, to grind something or sand it and ray like legit jumped luckily i had tarquin had i not had tarquin he would have i would have probably ran the other direction it doesn't take much to say like you did run the other day right so here's the so here's the bathroom story so when we bought the house we didn't know what it meant to like own a home and paint and all those things we, we lived in an apartment all that stuff was taken care of for us so we always thought that for a bathroom you have to get the high gloss paint right well our bathroom we have a, a one and a half bath so the bathroom downstairs is just the toilet and the sink um no shower or anything like that so there's never any like humidity in that bathroom so we never should have gotten High gloss. High gloss. And it's an old house, and so that bathroom particularly has... Um, plaster walls. Plaster walls. So every little, you know, like every little thing that's not super smooth is going to like pop out. So don't laugh at us, because we thought this was a really good idea, is to paint this this really dark blue. Yeah, we... So Now I, looking at it, I'm like, I just want to throw up. The tile on the floor has dark blue yeah, in it. Any of it's floor um, like a white or beige, and then it has little dark blue um diamonds in it so we thought yeah that it would pick up the floor so we were like oh let's go dark blue so we did so Proceed. this is the blue that was the blue that was the blue it and was. it's it's really glossy you can't really see because my phone's picking up like the reflection of um but you can kind of see like the imperfections like in the walls and stuff and it's so shiny and it's so oh my god it was so uh, shiny so awful. and it was so dark and it's a tiny you know tiny little room so we painted it and this is where we are now yeah, we painted it a very nice light blue. Yeah. Um, so much better. It, I think it's so much better. Too. I said to Ray, I yeah, I forget how much I love the smell of paint. I just think so it smells so. It good. looks. I think it looks so much better. I so mean, it's better. a half bath, but right. I, we're I'm, we're very happy with it. So that was on our to do list for a long time. So it has, we were was. Like, Check that bad boy off. And I think that's pretty much been our two weeks. We went and got our hair cut today. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much been it. So is it really? Yeah, we did a lot of running. We did. Just we like did a lot of running arounds and stuff. We yeah, we just got a lot of stuff done. So it yeah. was nice to be able to do that. Definitely. Um, so let's talk about some knitting, shall we? Oh, is this what we do on this podcast? Yeah, let's get into some of the knitting gritty. We'll start with some coupon codes for you guys. Oh, we have four currently. We do have a fifth one. We'll talk about later because I don't have it with me. I think we have. It's fifth. in our look. It's in our show notes. Do we have a sixth one? Look, I prepared. Well, kind of prepared. So, all right, up first is... Here's the problem, though, is I can never find where I... Naughty Knitting Sacks. With, we've shown them before, if you've been here before. Um, Katie over at Naughty Knitting Sacks. We have Prickle Pants 15, which gets you 15% off your order. Mm -hmm. Then Nancy from Trilogy Yarns has provided a coupon code for you all called NATR15. And that gets you 15% off your order, excluding clubs right. and something clubs but clubs i highly recommend you check out nancy's Same's. um shop this weekend because she is having a sale which is 25 percent off so don't use our damn code use the 25 percent off code yeah. that she has on instagram and then use our code when she went yeah after pulls the a sale off now is a good opportunity if you've never tried trilogy yarns before yeah to give her a go we um we hung out with her last night via zoom and some of our our knit friends and she said she still got a bunch of yarn, so... Um, so go over. Go on. Make a purchase. Go on there. 
And Go do it. We have Knit Swag. Yes. Oh, I have my product placement. Too. Boom. So Knit Swag makes a lot of great knitting related products. Yeah. So we've shown the mugs. We have tea towels, graph paper, coasters, oh, towels. We have those koozies too. Koozies. Oh my. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Because now um, we can pull them back out again. They're the American flag ones. So it would be good to do for um, like Fourth of July and stuff. So the coupon code is Kevin and Ray. Last time we said Ray and Kevin, right? Which she did add, right? Um, I but forgot it about is actually that. Kevin and Ray, yeah. And she has both an Etsy and a website now, so she does. Um, all of this will be linked below. Yeah. And then we have um, Ozone Mama yarns. So that's Amber, who's from Connecticut as well. Amber, I was going to come and see you yesterday, but we did almost go see if Amber yeah. was working yesterday. But then I said, no. What the heck do we need? And, and you never need but then, anything from a yarn store. Well, or, from Joanne's. But then, instead of doing that, we went to Old Navy and went shopping. But so we Amber, did, yeah. um, Ozone, Mama. Ozone Mama Yarns is on Etsy. Links below. And the coupon code is STRAT. So S-T-R-A-T City 15. And I could drop 15% off your order there. And there's and then another one. we have another one. Should we show the bags now, too? Yeah, then, so no. we got... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you let's have do them it. both? I have one. I have the other. So... Then there you go. We were lucky enough to be sent a little... A couple bags and some stitch markers um, to share with y'all and give you guys a view of this. And these bags are really cool. I know oh, I saw so them cool. someplace else, and I don't remember where. So I'm really happy that we get to try them now. Mm -hmm. So this is from... Katie. Katie did bags. Mm -hmm. so here's so, one of them here's the other one i love these bags so much and we'll show you why how you know this is her card so right now she's got a coupon code um and it is love is love 10 one word that's linked below it gets you 10 percent off her entire shop and I checked today. It's an Etsy shop. I checked today, and she's got a ton of cool things in there. Um, so I don't know if you can see here. I'll so pretend that this is the... I put some stuff in here. So in order for this feature to work, you need to have like a little weight in the basket. So in this basket... Bag. Bag, first off. There's these two little tabs on the side. This is really... It's like a sturdy, foamy, yeah. like really, really strong, thick. And then what you do is you pull down... And your bag turns, turns into, into a, a bucket. Yeah. Wait, don't show all the yarn yet. Oh, sorry. You want to do mine? I don't have... No, we'll, yeah, we'll take the yarn out now. Okay, hold on. Boom. Hi, guys. And then, see? And now it's a bucket. Aren't they cool? And this has... It's like a, a nice round bucket. Yeah, and this has a nice little closure here so that you don't have to worry about, like, a zipper. Don't you love this bag? I do love this. Like, literally. Love is love. And so that's our coupon code. And then you just pull it back Happy up. Happy Pride. And now it's back to a bag. So push down for a bucket, pull up for a bag. Yeah. But yeah, this is um so Isn't check it great? out Katie did bags. Yep. Where's she from? Do I know? again? Do oh, I don't know. Where I don't she's know from. if I remember. I thought I want to say I thought I didn't save the these are her these are her socials. <coughs> Excuse me. Excluding social security number. <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> so it so might be a we might be a little bit weird right now. We're a lot later than we usually re re record. Record. She has chicken. Oh, I love this bag. Though. I know. I really do like it. So have... she also sent some stitch markers. I'm gonna take one of these out. They're um, they're the same but different like colors. Yeah. Which is so cool. So these are some stitch markers. They They've got me like of little um, like glitter in there and stuff. And. She sent each one of us one, and then she also sent one for the podcast as well. So we're going to add this to our prizes. We've got quite a few prizes that we have to um, come up with for the, the let's hear, let's hear for, for the boys because we want to do that like huge. So this will be um, this will be an awesome prize for that. So yeah. So, so Katie, thank you so much. This you, has Katie. been so great. And again, take advantage. Um, go visit her shop, and it is Love Is Love Ten. 10. Um, to get you 10% off. And that one is good until, until the end of the month. End of the month. So we'll talk about it yes. one more time. Yep. Totally. And I put that information down below as well. I'm going to actually 
put her card in. Which one do, should we give away? We, we maybe we could figure that out later. Okay. Right? Cuz we're we're recording. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what else? So we finished up our um, spring cleaning now, and we have three we winners. Did. Oh my gosh! Should I grab the prizes, or do, do you not mind? Um, you that? can. So we picked three winners. Our Instagram winner is Cheryl Turner, twelve fifty eight. So congratulations, Cheryl! And then we picked from our chatter thread on Ravelry, and this is Wibble, Wibble. So this is um, Justine, and I used the Echo Dot, and Echo Dot picked number three. And then our FO winner was post 228, and that was Pin Queen, and that is Vivian. So we have Cheryl, Justine, and Vivian are winners. Um, so hit us up on either Instagram or Ravelry with your... Address. Or you can email us as well. Or you can email us, and we will make sure to get these out to you. So here are the prizes. We have um, yarn from Ginger Snap That and a bag from Naughty Knitting Sex for mm -hmm. one lucky winner. It's not going to arrive like that. It's going to be really pretty. I just kind of I just put the prizes together. So this one is um, one of the um, beautiful bags by um, Scrappy Angel. Right, one of the um, the buckets or the carpet the bag kind of thing. Yeah, the um, which is gorgeous. I feel like I have to like open everything and touch everything now I with know. the wire frame. Yes, that's and some what pockets I was inside. Of. Really, yeah. really cool. Um, this is her card, Scrappy Angel. You can find her uh, all right there. But that's all below too, right? Do we? Oh, we, uh, we yes. will. I don't know. Yep. I don't think we... I'm not sure. And then there's sure a skinny yarn from Skohouse Yarns. Skohouse. Skohouse Yarns. Excuse, excuse me. That we're going to include there. Beautiful spring type like colors. And then the last prize is um, another skein from Skohouse. Skohouse. And this beautiful um, spring bag by Prairie Bagworks. There's her label. Very nice. Yeah, it's like green on the inside, I think. Oh no! Oh, this is really fun, guys. The inside. This will be my grand prize winner. There is no grand prize winner. Your pri grand prize winner. That's it. So we're um, gonna get these out. We're gonna um, we're gonna randomly choose um, who gets what prize. Yes. Yes. So if those three people could uh, winner, reach winner, out to us, dinner. we'll get thank those you. out to you guys. Right. And thank you so much to the um, people who have donated those prizes really means a lot to us yes thank you yeah no that's awesome it's really fun to uh share the love put the products out there too yeah, and sure. introduce um everybody to like new bag makers or you new yarn dyers and things yeah. like that so that's awesome agreed and then and last then? i think this is our last we haven't like, even gotten into any knitting no so last like ad mini thing is that we did this is a two-parter so we started our um let's hear it for the boys this year yes year number two so again it's just celebrating dudes in knitting yeah right patterns or crochet or crochet or you, sewing i think whatever i i know that and i don't remember oh that's where we were we were just watching mesa skeins and she says that she um she kind of talked about this when we say knitting we also yeah. mean crocheting but we're mainly knitter so we speak of knitting more often than we mm -hmm. speak of crocheting so when i say knitting it's not excluding crocheters but you get the gist. Right. Unless we do like a, a, a knit along with a specific pattern, obviously, right. that's meant for like knitting. Right. Um, we do, yeah, we mean everything Both. else. Right. Yeah. Because there's like some awesome male like bag makers and different things like that too, I think is really cool. Right. So we are, so yeah, that's just the idea is just to bring, highlight, really, really for me, the whole purpose was to really highlight patterns made for uh, the male, a male. That's it. That's all. Because they're hard to find. So that's the idea okay. behind it. Okay, good. So we're doing that. But You got so serious, and then I thought there was going to be a lot more. No, no, no more. That's all it is. But so to actually spend some time talking about it and looking at patterns and maybe some yarn dyers and bag makers that maybe you're not aware of, we're going to do a live on Sunday, Sunday. this week. 
Surprise at, live. Yep, surprise live. We just came up with that idea yesterday. Um, so we're going to do that Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. And we'll um, we'll just chat like normal. But we'll also show off some patterns that we found, um, talk mm -hmm. about some yarn dyers that maybe you're not, you know, that you don't know of. Mm -hmm. And hopefully... Or something. we're open to hearing from you guys. You guys, yeah, your suggestions. From suggestions. So we have, um, for the, let's hear it for the boys. There is a, there are three threads on Ravelry right now that are related to that. There's an FO thread, there's a chatter thread, and then there's a, um, a repository. repository. The repository, the whole goal of that last year was to collect names and patterns and stuff. And um, I did go through it again, and I updated a lot of it. Um, there are still some names that I might have missed, but you guys have been great, you know, commenting on that thread with a new pattern or a designer that we should be aware of. And we're just compiling a kind of a list on that front page. And I've made it so all those links are clickable. For those of you who can use Ravelry, all those links are clickable and it'll take you right to either that project or that maker um, or the website, you know, for if it's a dyer or something like that. So we want to, you know, so come on, come on Sunday. We'll post, like Kevin said, on Instagram. And then for those of you early birds watching this before Sunday, bring us some, um, bring us some names of some, some interesting designs and patterns and dyers and all those fun things. And we'll make sure that we, um, we chat about them because we love to learn about that stuff too. Yeah. We're going to pull, um, oh, we also from... have a hashtag. That's what I'm trying to find. What is the hashtag? Hashtag is NATR boys, 2021. Good job. Thanks. I was like, what? What? I'm literally flipping through my notebook from nope. last year trying to see what we had last year. So we had NATR Boys 2020 last year. Yes. So this year is 2021. Okay. I haven't really seen anything come through yet. It's still early, but on that note, and you'll see as part of our um, works in progress, the gents over at Fiber Hustle are running a um, Vertices Unite knit along. And so... We are allowing double, triple dips, quadruple dips, dip as many times as you want to dip, dip. What do you love a dipped cone right now? An ice yes, cream cone dipped stop. and we like ate. butterscotch? We already ate. Oh, that sounds delicious. I it was, a, cher I was a cherry. A I was a cherry dipper. Oh, no, I was a butterscotch dipper. You were? You yeah, were I used to cherry. You know what's funny? As I don't really like artificial berry flavored things. So, like, I don't mm. like cheesecake with fruit on it that's because of the gel that they put it in which i don't like the gel but i don't like I strawberry like flavored stuff either i don't like strawberry ice cream i don't like oh, strawberry pop tarts oh, I, I, uh, I love a strawberry ice cream strawberry pop tarts are a little too tart for me i don't like i don't like blueberry stuff but i like i like fresh strawberries and Great. fresh blueberries but i don't like them oh, I, have, I have a a migraine a headache know, one of those ajita no no i'm good <clears throat> thanks i had a brain freeze oh so um I was like, from your coffee? That's weird. No, Are I took just... a... Please. I'm there now. I got You're you. You're not there now. I'm on the Usually same page. I'm the one that's all distracted. What's no, happening? I'm, I'm always distracted. I just hide it better. <laughs> <laughs> you just... Great. All right. No idea what I was saying. Fiber, hustle, hustle along. Double dip. Double, Double dip, dip, triple, triple dip, dip. Do your dip, 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 dip. Okay. So that's like all of the stuff, I think. Let's actually get into some knitting. Do you have any FOs? I have one FO. So I have one FO. I have two whips. God help me, I have four whips. Do you really? Oh my gosh. You need to get yourself together. I know. Well, I get distracted. All right. Obviously. I, here, I'll start. Oh, where's my tag? Hold on. All right, I'm good. Ready. So I finished my Lyle cap. You sure did. So this I love is, these colors are so good. I do too. This is great. Um, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. I've knitted a bunch of times. It is from Blue Sky Fibers. It is designed by Nancy Eckball. Mm -hmm. So it is a very simple DK weight hat. I made one modification and this was the ribbing. Typically it calls for five rows. I did 10 rows. I think that was a good call. And it's one of my favorite hats. Here we go. You look cute. I love this. Yeah. I love the way that it fits. This is, to me, a perfect... Throw it on um, and go out. 
Yeah, it is not a winter hat by any means. This is like spring, fall, mm -hmm. um, you know, or chilly summer evening if you want to throw a hat on. Sure. But it knits up incredibly quick. It is knit on US 7 um, for your brim and your hat. And yeah, the only thing I wish is that I was better at my decreases. It's Well, see, I think it's it decreases holy. fast, doesn't it? Yeah, the decreases are pretty immediate. So you don't it's, really have that. You don't have that extra row. Yeah, to kind of at some cinch point. it all together almost. Um, this yarn, I knit it with um, Knit and Brow. Oh, yeah, Knit and Brow. Which, if you haven't tried Knit and Brow's yarn, he actually just did a shop update today. Oh, he did? He did. So check him out. This is another good, oh, um, dyer yeah. for Let's Hear It for the Boys, where we totally forgot to mention this, is that for the knit along, if you use- Oh, thank you. Like a male dyer and a male designer, and it's a pattern, pattern written. written for, I'm going to say that's written for men or that's gender neutral. Yeah. Right. Then you can submit it up to three times. So right. if you knit it with a yarn from a male dyer, the pattern's written by a male designer, and mm -hmm. it's a pattern written for men. That's three entries in the FO thread. Right. Say you enter Vertices Unite using all of Knit and Bro's yarn. Three entries. Three entries into ours plus one into Fiber Hustle. Right. What? So yeah. So definitely check out Knit and Bro. I have three skeins of his yarn and. I really like it. I really like it too. This one is called Fly Away. Yeah. So this is his DK base. Where's he out of again? Um, really close. I want to say like Pennsylvania or Maryland. I, I could think it's totally be off, but that's no. What I, I think thought. it's Pennsylvania. So this is a DK weight. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, hundred percent superwash merino, two hundred and thirty-one yards, four hundred grams, and it's a four ply DK. So it's just really nice. I love this pattern, guys. Um, Pennsylvania. And I love the way this knit up. Me too. I love all the speckles in here. So, yeah, check out Knitting Bro. And I love how the speckles are, like, grouped together. Yeah, I do too. Like, it's cool. That's really, really neat. Yeah, I do love this. I, I really do. I just love this pattern. I think it would be another, if you took off, like, maybe about 20 stitches and did a worsted weight, you could probably do the same thing worsted weight and have a nice wintery mm -hmm. hat. Maybe I'll do that with some Aaron weight yarn. We have a bunch of Aaron weight right here, actually. Yeah, I have some nice Aaron weight. So maybe I'll do that because it's yeah. nice to have a, a hat on the needles. Absolutely. So, so yeah, so again, Lyle, excuse me, Lyle Cap by Nancy Eckball. Nice. And there's Lyle, Lyle. There's Lyle. Probably sold me on the hat. Yeah. Probably why I knit it. Yeah. What hat? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are up. Uh, so, my FO is also a hat. I believe I started this last time, uh, so this is not new to you all, but this is the Rocky Ridge Hat by Knox Mountain Knit Co. And I think it's a free pattern on Ravelry. It is. Which is really, really cool. It's a super easy pattern. It's a DK weight pattern. Um, I actually used two fingering weights held together, but I stuck with the recommended needles, um, which is um seven i think it was a seven uh three and a half oh us four and a us six okay yeah so um this is the this is the hat uh the yarn that i'm you that i've used is kevin's yarn um there were no colorways or anything no. like that it was one of his first yeah. um batches i don't even think you have this base anymore no this i don't particular think I do. one but um yeah, I was gonna use this for a daughter raise. I think I, we talked about it. I love the the rib. It's like it's really ribbing, and some slip stitches I think are in there too. Are there slip stitches? No, no, just ribbing. Just the way that you that you um. I think it's put your needle in. Is it a one by three rib? Uh, it's a, yes, and then your yes, it's a pearl three knit one around, yeah. and the brim is a knit three pearl one. No. Yeah. There's knit two. No. Mm, yes. Yes. Knit two pearl two. Knit two pearl one. Or knit two pearl Listen, one. Listen, get the pattern. It's free. Ugh. What? Why Ugh. are you asking these questions? Um. Knit, pearl it two, a... knit one. Oh, yeah. Knit two. Yeah. 
it's a it's a knit two pearl one and then uh pearl two knit one it's a really nice pattern it I, is and i i like this as well um so this this fits me it does fit but it's tight like it um, feels this, tight. actually i actually i block this okay um i like how i like how this looks um it's the a little slouch. slouch as well um let me look over this side hello um and yeah no it fits it fits well i did have to block this because it was a little bit tighter i think the fingering weight yarn was probably thin so using you know two strands of that might not be have been as thick as it because it calls for a dk or a light worsted yeah so it could be that but i use the same stitch counts and everything um but i really like it i think it looks cool i like the colors um, I'm not sure if this is going to be for me or maybe a gift or something. It'd be a good gift hat. Yeah, it would be it's a, a good gift hat. I think it's a good gift knit too, yeah. um, because uh, it's kind of it's pretty forgiving. It's a good stash buster. Since totally. You could use um, two fingerings. Yeah, which held together. that was the first time that I ever held two yarns together before when I knit. So that was pretty fun. So, yeah, beautiful. That's that. The yarn is super soft. You might as well keep going since you have the majority of the whips. We're moving on to whips. Yeah, yeah, we don't have any more FOs. It was a, I think our whips are quite large, so there um, wasn't as much knitting. Yeah, we have large projects. Yeah. Okay, so let's stick on the stick to the hats. So I cast this on yesterday because we're gonna go to. Oh, I don't have the yarn tag. It's downstairs. That's okay. I remember. Um, because we're gonna go to knit in public. I wanted something that I can just like knit and socialize with. So I have uh, some socks on the needles. But then I was like, well, what if I mess up my socks? Hmm. I don't want to have to like tink back or like like fix a drop stitch while we're hanging out outside. Um, I'll get anxious. <laughs> so, I, so I cast on another simple project just in case my socks don't turn out while we're sitting there. You know, trying to plan. You know, is that stupid of me to plan? No, planning your knitting, I think, is a very serious... I would took it very seriously. Um, very serious thing, yeah. because you don't want to be stranded without something that you want to knit on. So, I uh, agree. So, this is my backup project, um, in case my socks don't turn out, or it gets too warm with the, the needles. Speaking of needles, I, I made a purchase on Amazon. I wanted to try the square square needles we got a pair from knit new haven she gave us uh, linda over at knit new haven um gave us a pair to try but it was like a us i think it was like 10, a 10 millimeter maybe? or something um on like a 24 inch cord so i wasn't quite sure what i wanted to knit with that but i knit a lot of hats so i figured i would get um sorry that i'm boring you i know i mean we've been talking so much about so, this hat oh i'm trying the Addy Rocket Squared um, in a 8 millimeter on a 16 inch. I'm doing a Ross hat. This is from uh, Ross's free... P Ross's patterns are always free. It smells like yarn.com. Um, I have the pattern directly linked below, but he's got another hat pattern, um, some dishcloths. He's got a shawl, I think, on there too. A scarf um, too, I think? Yeah, a scarf. Right? Maybe that's what it is, not, not a shawl. I think it's a scarf. Yeah. So this is. So these are the needles um they're very interesting they are obviously squared uh it's kind of obviously. hard to see obviously darling and then they have some like texture to them too and they're very light and they feel very hollow um they feel they feel kind of cheap to be honest with you <laughs> like cheap quality they're I, they're not as thick and substantial as like a chow goo because the Chowgoos, I think, are solid. I think they feel solid. And the Addies, the regular Addies, also feel kind of more solid to me. These feel just very light. Maybe that's the whole design. They're supposed that's, to be light, ergonomical, right, that's you know, for thinking. people who have um, trouble. So um, this is what I have going on so far. This is using uh, Trilogy Yarns. This is part of the mm, Happy, Hour. Happy Hour Club. This was in blue Hawaiian. I got it on her worsted weight base. I'm pretty sure it's the 100% superwash yeah. um, worsted. I don't think she has this on non-superwash. But I love the colors. Um, I thought it was fitting for summertime as well. We had like 90 degree heat. Oh, 
So definitely could have used Awful. a blue Hawaiian or three with lots of ice and frozen. Um, so I cast this on yesterday. I have to say, as cheap as the needles do, because they do kind of feel, they do feel them. They feel cheap. Not that they, there's nothing wrong with them. I actually enjoy knitting with them. They are actually quite. Don't they feel like hollow, like almost? Yeah, they actually don't. Like I feel, feel like I can bend them, like that. Like. Yeah, they feel almost plastic. Mm -hmm. Like that very, very thin, almost aluminum type. Yeah. Um, I, okay, feel. maybe that's it. It has a more aluminum feel. Yeah. Than, um, I don't know what they're plastic. made out of. Yeah, it's very so, strange. Actually, very strange. So, um, but knitting with them is a dream. It's weird. Do you think it's because I think they're, they're meant to be super light? I don't know. The join is great. There's there's no um, there's no like bump or any of that stuff. Um, the cable is pliable, which for a sixteen inch, I don't really care so much about right. the pliability. Is pliability a word of the the cable or the yeah the cable? It's when you get into like magic loop or other things where it can get all twisted. That that's annoying. I'm surprised these little bumps don't get in the way of the knitting. They don't. This is like a longer taper, too. I don't have. Um, it's a it's a longer taper, so it it scoops the yarn like really, like really easily. Um, and I think the stitches. The stitches are really uniformed. At least they looked like it last night. But I also had some vodka last night, so everything looked pretty uniform last night. It's a pretty yarn. It's a beautiful yarn. The yarn is gorgeous. It's very plump. I'm not sure if it's a what the ply is on this. Maybe a two ply, but it's very plump and soft. Um, I love the colors. I love how it's knitting up, and I like the needles. They're, good for you. Yeah, I do. Sounds They're like just, a good project. I'm excited for this project. So I almost I had to force myself to put it down yesterday during knit night, and then I had to force myself to put it down this morning. Because, like I said, this is my backup project, just in case things don't work out for me. I don't have it living in a project bag yet. I've got to find a project bag for it. We just sh showed one. I don't know if I have any extra project bags. You have one right there. I'm kidding. Just joshing. Oh, my God. I'll, I'll use... There it is. Your pride, too. How great is that? See? Speaking of pride, we've got pride bingo. Did anybody else sign up for pride bingo? No. I mean, uh, fiber hustle bingo? Fiber hustle pride Fiber hustle bingo. pride bingo. You can be... actually keep on going, I guess. Live here. Since you have four. Well, I don't know now because you, you're making fun of me an awful lot. I I don't feel that I'm making fun of you one bit. I feel that I'm actually being a pretty supportive husband. So you do? Yeah. Okay. It's all about you then. Next. No, I feel I feel I feel the love. <laughs> you know what? Can you feel? I'm gonna leave. The love tonight? You could finish doing this by yourself today. No way! My God, remember that one I time my, you walked away? I have my notes. You could just talk about my stuff. No. Um. Okay. Next, let's talk about my my uh, project that I'm gonna work on tomorrow. Potentially. These... Right. Oh, I used to well, that's why you're bringing your backup one in case you mess up with that. So maybe you might. Yeah. Mess well, I'm up gonna start. That. I'm gonna at least start working on this. Well, okay. Tomorrow. You don't have confidence in me. No, no, I, I have all the confidence in the world. I was I just feel like we're I, like like an old married couple today. I had um I had a thought in my head, but then I remembered. Please, please ex share. No, I'm please continue on with your um socks. Okay. So these are living in uh, one of my favorite bags of all time. This is uh, by Le Garçon. Uh, Max and Vincent. They just had a shop update, so they had more of these bags. Plus, I think they had a burgundy colored one. A Merlot. Merlot color one. Yes. Um, and they had a new pin. They did, which we Jackalope. Got. That's what it was. Jackalope. A Jackalope. A pride so Jackalope. So fun. Oh, no. Oh, see? Oh. Already started. Nope. Nope. Not nope. even in Knit New Haven tomorrow. Nope. And you I'm can't knit on the socks. So good I'm thing good. we have I'm this good. hat I'm good. back up. Well, I'm doing this Ooh. a little bit differently. The yarn I'm using is um, SBY. I think it's... Shirley Bryan yarn in her deconstructed fade socks. The colorway, I think, is Le Garçon. It's uh, really cool. If you go on their website, even though they're sold out of it, I think. Um, they did some pre-orders. I think they're sold out of that as well. You can see how it fades up. So really, I showed this last time. They send two 50-gram skeins, 
um, and you can choose whatever side you want to pull, you know, pull from first. But instead of self-striping, it's a self-fading sock. So as you go, um, it'll fade all into each other, which is really kind of neat. And I'm doing these um, in tandem. Is that what it's called? Yes. So I knit the the leg of one sock here. I did the leg a little bit longer. Um, I believe I did 110 rows of knitting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I did 110 rows of knitting on my leg. And you can obviously see how it's going to fade. And it's going to fade into that yellow color, which is going to be really cool. So next is going to be my heel. I'm going to do the... Um, everybody's been talking about it, and I'm sure you guys know Denise over at... Uh, she's Earth Tones Girl. She has a new pattern where she's really kind of exploring like the different heels and... This is the Shadow Wraps heel, which is very, very similar to um, fish lips the Fish Lips Kiss, which I love, and I like the fit of it. But it solves the problem of one side looking different than the other side when you're doing your, um, you know, your, when you're turning your heel. So I'm excited to, to, to do that. So I have that pattern link below as well. So that's going to be my intended heel for these guys. So I'm, I'm right at the point where it's probably going to, I think it's going to shift into that yellow color which will look cool are you doing a contrasting heel or no no i'm gonna go straight with this with oh, the okay. yarn yeah because i want it i want to see the whole i want the gotcha. whole fade so i'm not going to do a contrasting toe or anything which i'm hoping that 150 gram skein is going to be enough for for one of my my Things. footsies well what you could do is you could weigh one of your current socks and see I, what yeah. the total weight that's is that's a good idea you'll have to take into consideration that you've added more rows though for your leg yeah but i think if you do that, you should be okay. Because I don't. Well, know that. if not, I'm gonna blame um, Max and Vincent because they said that they ended up getting a nine inch leg. Max and Vincent. Max. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, what I did here though is I did 72 stitches on my nine inch circular needles. I did uh, 15 rows of ribbing. And I did a pearl row because I kind of I just I like how that it that looks. Who do we see? Who did that? Where do we you get that? I from? thought it was the crazy sock lady. At I think first, it may be, but I'm not sure now where it came from. And I'm sorry if it was you, and if I'm not giving you. you credit for it. But I just like how it looked, um, and I like how it fits. I feel like it does make a little bit of a difference. It kind of makes it look like a real sock, if that like makes a store bought sock. Yeah, yeah, kind of. You're you a know. real boy. So, um, and then I cast on the second one on nine inch circular needles for a grand total of 18 circular inches. <laughs> that was creepy, yeah? <laughs> yes, it was. All right. So, um, here it is. So I got the cuff done, um, and I just got to the point where I can just knit, knit, knit in a row. Knit, and knit, so knit. that's all I want to do. Did you so do your tomorrow will bump? be nice. I did my pro bump already. Oh, good. Yep, see it right there? Is oh, yeah, I see. You guys can see it too or no? It's yeah, just, you can see it. It's kind of like popping out a little bit there. Yeah. So these are cool. Um, I've never done socks in tandem before. I think it's going to be great because I'll get to the same point on the leg. Um, I'm tired. I've been I'm, sleeping I'm, awful. I apologize. I, you know. I'm sorry. I've not slept well okay. the past like, you let two it or out. three nights. Let it out. Deep breaths. Let it out. And um, I think that's all I have to say about that. I'm excited for these. Super excited. And those are on 2.25 millimeter, so Thank US you. 1? So this is a US 1, 2.25 millimeter needle, 72 stitches. Uh, like I said, I did 110 rows, for, 15 rows for my ribbing, pearl uh, bump. But... I'm confused. You have 10 markers. Yeah. So that was after 110 rows after my, um, after my cuff. Oh, I see. So you're including your, no, not including. The but cuff. if you leave, put a marker every 10 rows and you have 10, wouldn't that be a hundred? You had come to 10 markers. I did a hundred rounds, a hundred okay. rows. Thank you for the cross check. Okay. I, I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't crazy. Nope, you're not. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I did 100 even. Okay. Good job, Kev. Good catch. Somebody would have been like, oh my gosh, you don't know how to. It's that common core math. Speak. Oh my God. <laughs> don't. 
And look at my cute, <laughs> my cute little tape measure. Keep this in the bag, too. All right. All Zander, right. Those are two of mine, so carry on. Okay. Let's hear you talk a little bit. So I'm going to pull out this project. This is knitting. This is sitting. knitting itself. I wish it was. Can you oh, imagine? That would be sweet. great. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, one could wish. So this is living in my naughty knitting sack, which are you guys ready for the inside? Fuck away if you are easily offended. You already showed it. I just flashed it. Now I'm really going to show it. Ready? Here, I'll cover their eyes. <laughs> Here's the inside of the naughty knitting sack. Ding dong. So, last week... On Needles at the Ready. No, we did two weeks on ago. The, yeah, two weeks ago. Fortnight ago. This is my Ivan oh. sweater, which is a Brooklyn Tweed pattern. It is written by Veronique Avery. Hey, what? Well, no, okay. So, yeah, so Veronique Avery. This is the pattern. It is a cardigan, jackety yeah. type of sweater. So I am knitting this on a US 6 and a US 5. I went down a needle size um, after doing my gauge swatch. I completed my back panel after the last episode. So I currently have it on waist churn because this is my shoulders over here. So here's the back panel. I didn't take off my progress keeper, but I was not there last time. I was going to say. So, yeah. So, I finished this. This is, I believe, about 30-something wow, is... inches from mm -hmm. top to bottom of it. Um, here are my... This is going to be warm, Kev. It's dense. This is... It's really but it's nice. But like, it's a good fabric. It's, it's like a... Yeah. It's a beautiful fabric. Ooh, I really, really, yeah. really love working with this yarn. Mm -hmm. The yarn I'm using... Do I have a tag? Oh, I have it behind me. I actually need to bring it down. So the yarn I'm using is a Knit Picks yarn, Simply Wool Twist. It's worsted weight. Mm -hmm. This is um, Wordsworth and Wanda. Yeah. The actual color, you know what's funny though? When you go to their site, that's not the name of this anymore. I think it's just Wordsworth. Oh, I thought Wordsworth was the dark, just the dark Yeah, it, it gives it its own name. So it's a marled yarn. It almost looks pixelated. It's 100% it's it? eco wool. It's just so nice. I it's love really the way cool. that it's knitting up. Yeah. So this is 218 yards for 100 grams. Mm -hmm. So guys, I finished this. This is 100% wool, you said? 100% wool. It's not super wash. Right. I cast on my left panel, and I hit a bit of a snag in it. You did. So here is my left panel. It has a tubular cast on. So I still have my waist yarn in. I don't know why. This... From what I saw, this little detail here. Let's see if I can get it close. I feel like we keep our because the microphone is like. No, I'm saying that the iPad's super shaky, so I hope it doesn't come across oh. shaky on the camera. So this is going to be the. Oh, like, I see the detail. I see so what this you're detail, but what it does is it folds in. To create like a seam. Yeah. So if this is going to fold back. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a seam on the inside. This whole section gets like, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Tacked? Tacked down. But the pattern itself, where's my stitch markers, is on this side. So the pattern called for me to knit to here, stitch marker one. And I started my it called for bus shaping, so I did that, and I had to decrease every 14 rows, or 14th row, seven times, which got me to here. And then I had to knit another in pattern for 15 rows, which I did. And then this piece was supposed to measure seven and a quarter inches, and I'm at 18 and a half inches. So I have to rip back, I guess. Yeah, I just rip back. Probably to this stitch marker. Because my one of these repeats for me was two, just about two inches in between stitch markers. Mm -hmm. So I have to rip back maybe just a couple 
rows above it. It's about eight stitches to eight make rows. it match the length, the armhole decrease. Sure. So I would be decreasing whatever number of stitches to create the armhole. And right now, if I were to do it, it's a full like one and a half inches higher than where it would be on my back piece. Mm -hmm. So this is this was my main focus up until today's Friday. So up until Wednesday, I think mm -hmm. I put this aside on Tuesday or Wednesday and stopped working on it. Otherwise, this if I didn't hit that snag, this would have been done. I was the panel. Yeah, this yeah. panel would have been done. I was pretty um close to finishing it yeah i've literally just worked on this but i really think it's gonna be a beautiful sweater once I it's too. done just take out take out the couple of rows so i just got to do some measurements and get back in that mindset it mm -hmm. kind of was that like i don't know i'm if i'm the only one but like when i hit a snag like that it just stops all momentum and i'm just like oh man i don't want to mentally prepare to rip all this out and try to figure out how i want to fix this and yeah. you know do i need to go back and measure my gauge um but what i did is i actually created a project page and i put my notes i know i was like kevin what are you doing <laughs> did. i was like i'm creating a project page because now i know that something's i'm not following the pattern a hundred percent so I need to know when I go knit the next panel. What you did. What I did. And that's what's going to scare me is that what if, f for whatever reason, my gauge is different on my next panel. Mm. And then the next panel works. You know? And then I was trying to think if maybe I miscounted my increases. Because it, the wording in the pattern really confused me. So I just, I just need to sit down with it and yeah. just take some time. I didn't have the... The mental space to um, to dissect that pattern again and just sure. look at everything. So I put it aside, and that's where I am. So hopefully, my goal for this sweater is to have this panel and my next panel done by the next episode. I would really like to have this done by the end of the the whole month, sweater month, maybe this month. All right. I don't know. I really would. If I feel like if I. I think you could do it. I could because I finished knitting this back panel and almost this, and I haven't knit on it for three days. Right. So I think I could if. And the sleeves are just. I don't even know if it goes to my elbow. And I think you should just do them in the round, even if they don't call for it in the uh, round. No, I'm trying to follow the pattern to the T. Okay. Even though I'm going to change the pattern because I don't need the measurements. Your bus size isn't as big as... No, and that's a really good question. Does bus shaping typically happen right above the ribbing? I don't think so. So this is knit bottom... <laughs> Unless you're like a very... Top heavy? Top no, I don't... So saggy. My, don't no, my thought was that it's going to get wider as it goes up. You would think that it would be... Need to, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but need to be shaped... Like up higher, so it by the arms. It's growing this way, so it would it got higher this and came to a certain point here. If that makes sense. So I just I've never knit something that had bus shaping in it. Mm -hmm. So number one, that confused me too because this is a unisex pattern. So when it said bus shaping, I was like, oh, which is great for the gals, right? Or so people who have breasts. It confused the crap out of me because. And then when it happened right after the ribbing was complete. So the ribbing is, I think, like three and a quarter inches or something like that. And then it was like, knit two rows and then you start bus shaping. And I'm like. Is that the, is that optional part though? Did you actually read the pattern? Like, is there a snippet for like optional? Because I feel like. No, it doesn't say optional. Oh. It literally. Because I feel it, like that it would pull the, the length of the sweater up a little bit. And this is why. For people with the chest. So, yeah. Okay. I answered my own question because I'm looking at the picture. So the picture shows, see? It shows oh, yeah. the... Oh, they, it starts coming out. Yeah, so it starts coming out. Yeah. So that's what it shows. I feel I like probably you should probably looked, don't need to do that. I probably should have looked at that. And... Yeah, sit down with the pattern. Now you seem to be in a better headspace. Oh, I see. Okay, good. 
No, but I'm still off. Okay. It's actually funny. I my length actually matches the next size up. Maybe you looked at the wrong set of directions for the the you know the row count. We'll see, but that's yeah, where I am great. anyways on that sweater. Good deal. It's great. It's going to be fantastic. You are up next now. Muy bien. Okay, I'll do my sweater. Okay. So this sweater is living in our lovely beaded pearl bag that was given to us. Is there a feather? Oh, we have a down pillow downstairs. Well, just one. And no, we have multiple. We do. Yeah. Only one on my couch. Yeah, no, there's a ton down there. Oh, anyway, we I always seem to have a feather on me or two. This is the oh, ranger. Oh my gosh. What? That just made so much sense in my head. So remember, we'll go off on a tangent real quick. There was the down pillow downstairs in the basement when we were cleaning, and we were like, where's this from? It made no sense to me. Remember, I washed one of the pillows and oh, that outside, it. and it shrunk so we couldn't mm-hmm. fit the pillow in it. That's where the down pillow was from. That's why oh, there's only... Maybe that's where there's a one feather like hanging out. Anywho, uh, this is the Ranger. This sweater is being uh, is part of the knit along cardigan along over at Happy Knits H A P P E E. Oh yeah, so is mine. With, That's the whole yeah, reason for knitting with Yolanda and Jordan. I didn't get much progress done on this guy uh, because we've been really focused on um, other things. So I did. I don't know. Each one of those is two rows. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Maybe I got 20 rows done on this guy. Oh, that's not bad. That's good. Yeah. That's decent progress. This, um, I'm very far away from your head. This is uh, going fine. It's great. I like it. It's a fun pattern. I'm using uh, Trilogy Yarns yet again. Talked about this before. This is a one of a kind colorway and some like greens and blacks. Some brown in there. No brown? There's no brown in there. There is no brown So I got there. two sleeves done already. I uh, showed this last time as well. Both of the sleeves are done. I'm knitting the body currently. And, oh, there's a swatch. Maybe I'll bring that to Knit New Haven tomorrow. What color is that sleeve? Brown, right? No, it's not brown. This is green. Okay, good. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just I, greens. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. You know, maybe me and John need to get together from Sweet Tea No Shade. Why? Partner up against you and Oh, Scott. I get it you now. You guys make fun of us all the friggin' time. <laughs> so it's um it's a knit all in one piece. It's been a really fun pattern. Um, I haven't really had any trouble with it. Although somebody did reach out to me. There is a little bit of a um, question. It's a paid for pattern, so I'm not going to give too much away. But when it comes to the sleeves and maintaining that pattern... There's a technique. I really like these patterns that have the like a couple of pages of the specific techniques needed, and they explain it or have links. And sometimes, um, sometimes we don't go and read the entire pattern. I happen to go through and, and read this because otherwise I would have been stuck too. But for those of you who have been stuck, especially knitting in the round with that particular stitch pattern, there are directions in there on how to maintain the pattern. It's like an extra slip stitch that you want to do um, outside of the normal stitch pattern. But it tells you exactly where to do that, which I appreciate so much. So I didn't have any trouble with the sleeves, but I know a bunch of people did. Um, and somebody uh, reached out to me. Um, so it is it is in there. But Richard, you can you know reach back out to me again if you have any questions about that. But there's a lot of project pages. I don't have one. But there's a lot of other people who do project pages. That's surprising. Who has a project page for I never would have thought. So that's my sweater. Good for you. Thanks so much. All right. And my final whip is my Bursies United. We were very... Our... our, um... Nothing. Never mind. So this is Bursies Unite by Stephen West. Um, I've knit it in the past. I'm knitting it again because the guys at Fiber Hustle are having their knit along so i decided i would like to join in and initially um and it qualifies for ours as well correct and there is a knitter's pride one right yes it's a shawl shawl along and knit new haven's having one for (sighs) shawl so it's just it we're like everything aligned so 
Um, so yeah, so once Good I job. put my sweater on hold, I decided to start the Vertices Unite. So I started this on probably Wednesday, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. Right? Your mom came over Wednesday? My mom came over Wednesday, Wednesday when Finley was getting his haircut. haircut. Yes. So Wednesday is when I started this. I am using... Here's my colors. So this is color A. This is a Lolo Did It. Prepared. It is called Magic. I this love is on color. her um, 8515 base. So Lolo Did It and Magic. This was probably from a Harry Potter yeah. um, club. I'm sure. My B is BB8. This oh, is from. Fun. I think this was a gift to us yeah. from Candy Skein. So this is Star Wars Snack, BB-8. This is on their Yummy Fingering. So it's a 7525. It is 463 yards for 100 grams. So this is really nice, kind of neutral with the orange and the gray from BB-8. Yeah. So I paired those together because I like the way that blue and orange look. So then this is why I paired the next two together. And I'm not sure um, this is going to be B. This is, I believe, I love Pumpkin color. Spice Latte by yeah. um, the Cat Lady, Andrea. That's Andrea. I got two skeins of this a really long time. Last year, this time, yeah. I was going to use this in my initial Vertices Unite. That's right. I put this in once, and it was too similar to another color, so I took it out. And it's been sitting downstairs on my Roscog Just since waiting. then. Waiting. So I've been, yep. it's there, and I've been trying to figure out what I want to knit with this. So finally, I did that. How fun that you're able to use it for your the same uh, intention, just a different yeah. time. Yeah. And I'm pairing that with this. Oh, that's going to be pretty, Kev. Right? Yeah. So this is from Ooh, this is soft. Mothy and the Squid. This is called Icy Seas. And this is on their Superwash Treated base. And my initial plan was, I thought I was going to go like this. Mm -hmm. But then I thought that's kind of too predictable for me. Right? Like, it would have looked great together. It would have looked fantastic. So, I decided to flip it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad these two together. I like those. Because then I think these two will get matched up together in a section. But I'm going to do some flipping and flopping around. Then my section, my E is Pistachio mm -hmm. by Q Loco, Loco, which I love. Yeah, it's so one of your favorites. This one I put... Um, E is a big section by itself. So I wanted to highlight this one. Mm -hmm. And there are six sections. Three of them are striped, right? Three striped and three solids. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to flip one of the colors. And for my solid sections, I'm going to use these three for the solids. Not solid. It doesn't need to be a solid No, just section. one color. Just one color. One color. Right. You can do a speckle if you want to show it off or whatever. So there's three striped and then three one color. Single color. So I'm going to use these in my single color section. I love it. It is supposed to be, I think. It's going to soften this the whole one, shawl, I think. This one's supposed to have its own section, but I'm not going to use it, I don't no? think. No? I don't think so. I think I'm going to do these three. Are you going to use this as your border? This would be really No, this is my border. What is this base? Fingering. No. It's 75-25. Is it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it feels different. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this as my border. The way that the colors are now, because it has the blue in it, which would go with everything, and it has the like minty green mm -hmm. that will pick up some of the green in this. And it has, um, looks like some black, which will pick up some of the gray tones in this one and this color. So I think this will be a solid color to to do the border with i think it will highlight all of the colors um as i go around and add a little more interest to the border so here's where i'm at yay it looks so, so good i have about you know what it's so funny is i looked at this and it's very reminiscent of my first one my first one was red though mm -hmm. and it had a red with like gray undertones to it and i used a white with probably brown or gray in it hmm. so it reminds me of my first one and i have about 50 something stitches on my needles now and i'm using new needles guys you are Where i'm using the knitter's pride mindful needles with the swivel cord and it has the cord does not have any memory so 
The cord's like a chow goo. Yeah. The needles are knitter's pride. They're really nice needles. They are not as blunt and there's not, as, not as long. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm sorry. Not as sharp and they don't have a very long taper on the end of the needle. These are the five inch needles. This is being knit on a US four. No, Do they have different size US. Needles? Yeah, I'm sorry. A US four. This is a 3.5 millimeter. So it has like little messages on it. This one says breathe this needle size. And I don't know if you can tell, but it swivels. And it can. And the this. cords have. Um, oh yeah, the cords have like measurements on it, so each dot is one inch. Which I we got to use that last night. Yeah, so that's a really nice feature. Yeah, they they're really enjoyable to knit with. I will say, right here, because the width from the cord oh, I to the a little bit the metal piece that um, screws into the needle. There's such a a difference in size that there's just a little bit of a catch there nothing that really bothers me and it's normally only the last stitch that i feel get caught on there because it's just tight from being on the needle mm -hmm. but otherwise they're really really enjoyable to knit with i got the set from ray for my birthday so this is i mean it comes with a ton this set came with all of the needles this is a I love US 2.5. So a three millimeter all the way up to a 17 millimeter. And then in the set is your little pouch, which has your cords. So you get fixed cords. Ooh. You get some fixed cords and some swivel cords. I think you get a 24, 32, and a 40 inch cord from each one. So you get six cords with it. You get your needle gauge. And then in here has another little pouch, which has your needle stop stoppers that screw on. I love and the colors. Then they have the T pins, which actually are kind of hard to get out of here right now. But then not only that, this pouch has a zipper in it. So in here, All of these stitch markers and your darning needles. So it's a huge, huge set with tons yeah. of stuff. Really nice to work with. Um, and I know that Ross over at Smells Like Yarn has used these or purchased some of them. And the cords work with other Knitter's Pride and Knit Picks sets needles, because yeah. the, the ends uh, match. Like you can't interchange it with a... Um, Chowgu. Chowgu or an Addy. But yeah, it's a really, really nice set. I've really been enjoying um, knitting with them. And I like the five inch tips when I work on shawls. I didn't, I didn't realize there was another option. I don't know if they, I'm, I would assume that they may have a four inch tip. Well, maybe not where I got them. Um, but yeah, I typically use uh, five inch anyways for, for shawls. For shawls, yeah. Like yeah. I bought some um, Chowgu five inch tips spe sp specifically for that so now i um don't have to like dive into the chow so this is just a fun pattern super easy it garter stitch pattern. increases and decreases is pretty much all you need to know for it and how to pick up stitches so yes that's where i am well that's just wonderful i should put a progress keeper here no okay that's it that's all i have for my whips psh, psh. Oh, I'll use this one right here. Oh, clever. Um, I also have a Vertices Unite. <clears throat> Oops. Um, this is using, I posted this on Instagram, my color choices. I have another set of needles in there somewhere. Um, posted my color choices on Instagram yesterday, I think it was. This is all Amanda Knits yarn from our harry potter club where she dyed them all um to one match my, dragon oh sh reach. one of my favorite clubs colors one two so i forgot to mention this is living in my twinkle and twilight harry potter bag oh yeah which i love it's a great bag 
So part of Amanda's club is the colorways were all dyed based on her version of these dragon eggs. And we showed these. I mean, they're they're just like they're gorgeous. Um, she's very very clever. Um, so what I did was I have a which is I don't want to take these all out because it's gonna kind of. This is the Chinese Fireball. This is A. That's such a good red. Isn't it good? This is B, which I thought these looked really cool together. This is a Ukrainian Iron Belly. That's a great color. Yeah, they're all just such they're good all, colors. They're all, like, she, used... she hit this whole club out of the park, I think. Let me see. No, I can't get the link in. But that's okay. I know. I don't know what it is. Um, C is this one. Romanian Longhorn. Romanian Longhorn. Yep. So that's C. And this is D. Any ideas? I knit with a two. I don't remember. Hebradian black? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did knit with that. Hebradian black. And then um, this is E right here, which I love this color so much. So this is why I chose to be E because I wanted it all by itself. And this is the Peruvian viper tooth. Uh, so this is A and B get striped together. So I striped these guys together. Um, C and D get striped together. So those were these. E is by itself. And then I think you have like A and C together. A and C and... So I thought like these two would go nicely together. Yes. And this is going to be by itself. Yep. And this is going to be maybe by itself as well. Wait, you do... You no. A and this is I don't D's, know. D is by itself. This Whatever. is D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is where I have so far. And now there's a six skein, which I didn't cake up yet. And this is the common Welsh green. So I was thinking of using this as the border because mm -hmm. it's an I-cord border all the way around it. I think I'm, that's a good idea. Yeah. So I was thinking that this might tie a lot of these in together. Maybe. Who knows? So I'm up in the air with that. If not, it's going to be a beautiful project on its own. What's it living in, your project? This is living in my chip basket. By Chip over at the uh, Fiber Hustle. This podcast is brought to you by Fiber Hustle. I feel like we've mentioned their names about 30,000 times. Which, that's okay. They're worth mentioning a bunch of times. Here, I am on section C. So... This is the front of my work. So this is section A. This actually reminds me a lot of my Here. section A. Yeah, I think so too. Right? So this is with the red and the gray, Blue. the Chinese fireball, and the gray. I striped yeah. it with. There's no blue in here. This is this is gray. No. No, this, this is, is not gray. No. What color is that? Are you kidding? It ruined my... Yeah. It just, like, throws my no. whole shawl off. This isn't gray. This is, like, a almost a teal. Like, it's a silvery, greeny blue. Silver blur. gray. Silver. It's not gray. Oh, shit. So, well, anyway, <laughs> this is this is A and B together here. Red and blue. Shoot. I didn't know that. That changes my whole thought process. Anyway, okay. um, this was good. This is B... Or section two, here, um, I you can't really see the stripes very well so, here. Um, you can, you can if you like are looking at it very close up. Close you can. up, you can. Yes. Farther away, um, you really can't. Which I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Which I was looking at. If you look at this picture of it, yeah. Well, he chose such dominant. So, but here, right, his section A oh, yeah. is a dark blue and a dark green, right? Yeah. So you're not, it's yeah, going to stripe, but you wouldn't see that from far away. Right. So it's, I don't think this shawl, I don't actually think no, you, you can do whatever go, you want. go wrong with your Agreed. color choices. Totally. So section two, there. Um, and you currently have this on waist yarn. I currently have this on waist yarn, that's right. Correct. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Um... 
I don't know what's going to happen with this. I think you pick it up later and do your I cord bind off. So I don't yeah. think anything is getting attached to this. Yeah, no, this border. is for your I cord. Okay. It's going to make it a lot easier to, to do that than picking mm -hmm. up stitches. And then this is section three. Isn't that blue delicious? Yeah, this is a really Isn't nice blue. Isn't it so good? It reminds me of just like seawater. Yeah. You know, like you have the light and the dark and you have some really dark I can't spots. believe this is not gray. That's what she said. <sighs> That's okay. I think it still looks good because I'm going to do this as a single section by itself as well. Yeah. What color? Which one is that? And this is That's uh, B? B. Yeah. The good thing is B, it's kind of not even going to be near this. No, it won't. So, but These even if the, it was, yeah. it would be fine because that's that greeny, mm -hmm. like sea color water too. It would look really well. It's, it's all going to look good together. Yeah. It's a big shawl. It's, it's going to be a big shawl. Not that big though. I don't know. It's a large shawl. But to me, it's Maybe not like a it's not schlanket. A schlanket. No. no, you're right. It's not a, It's not going to be a schlanket. Um, the garter, I have to say, I, I this is probably one of my favorite knits so far to do. It's really fun. It's really easy. The striping, like you, just when you get tired, I feel like of doing <clears throat> something with the exception of section one takes a long time to get up to the recommended um stitch count. you know stitch count before yeah. you start your decreases because you're turning your work so often that it ends up feeling like oh here we go oh my gosh i, didn't, I only put that much on it hmm. i don't but, um, I, didn't, I don't mind section one so i didn't far. i really it wasn't none it, of this has been bad no it goes by i think each section yeah. in its own kind of way goes by quickly yeah um I and think, it's completely tv knitting movie absolutely knitting. You know, it's all garter just you know as long as you're paying attention to when you get to the ends of the rows because that's when that's when things happen at the beginning and the end of the row yeah in the middle of the row it's you're not doing yeah. anything no, nothing you're crazy. not picking up stitches you're not ssks or any of that stuff in the middle of a row um it's been an absolute pleasure to knit this he has a new shawl he does out that butterfly wing shawl it, it reminds me a little bit of Dotted Rays and Radiate Shawl. Kind of but, mixed together. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know, but it's just the yarn overs, the way that they're, pl the placement of them. Uh-huh. Um, and there, but yeah, I think this is a really good beginner or like intermediate beginner shawl. There's a couple techniques like short rows and, yeah. you know, things. His short rows are super easy though. Oh, oh, so tip. There's a point in the pattern where you have to... You're doing your short rows. You're turning your work. And then when you're going back across it, he tells you to complete your short rows. And that's all that it says in the pattern. So I thought I was just like knitting across there and it was creating these little like eyelets. There's a technique. If you actually look on YouTube to complete your short rows, there's actually a Stephen West video of him showing you how to complete um, your short rows. So there's actually a technique involved with um you know picking up an extra stitch and knitting them together he shows you just where to do it you cannot tell where those stitches have been um corrected or fixed or whatever it is so just a tip there if you've gotten to that point on section two yeah section two it's um and i think you do it again in another section later on possibly but the pattern doesn't tell you how to do that you can find that information out um yourself correct all right so that's it for the knitting content this is gonna be a long episode it is folks. but you know what that's life that's just the way it is all right so we're gonna jump into mm -hmm. owl post owl post we showed a lot of it already i know but i'm gonna show some to start because i got some birthday you did get some gifts from things. some viewers that was so nice that i wanted to say thank you for i'm not gonna say their names because i always feel weird well one person's name because i always feel weird about doing that if they don't say right yeah so this came with a beautiful card and you guys know i mentioned it recently how i was surprised i didn't get like or how i love foxes so it came with a little happy birthday card with a fox and a nice little note inside. So, and then they sent me a beautiful fox bag. Look at this, y'all. It's gorgeous. It's such a good size it's bag, beautiful. too. It's beautiful. It has a very generous um, handle here. So this is from Longview Creations. Mm -hmm. so you can Longview find their Creations. shop below as well. They've got amazing bags. This is such a beautiful bag. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... 
put something in here. So thank it's a you. good size. Yeah, it's a really great size. Like it's, it's like a medium bag, but it leans to, to a large bag. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like in between a medium and a large. Really great. It's got a box bottom. It's very nice and um, like cushiony too. Yeah. The interfacing in there. Yeah, it's that's like, interfacing. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. So thank you very much. I love. The fox bag. Now I have one. Now I'm gonna put a project in it. Maybe I'll cast something new on. What could I cast on? Maybe a hat. Hats are easy to do. I know, and but you I know feel what's like... nice in the summertime. I, you know, some people were saying, "Who are we just watching?" Where it's not like necessarily hat knitting. Who wants to knit hats in the summertime or something like that? I do. I, I like to because it's time. not. Yeah, it's not. You don't have this big thing all on your lap, and if it's like hot, or you want to sit outside and knit. I like knitting the smaller projects in the summertime. Me too. So the next one, I got a birthday gift from this person, but then you got uh, some gifts as well. I think I got a, um, like you can't send you... to one without the other. All right, so this came with a nice little birthday I'm card. This is a pretty card. It's so good. It's all sparkly. So this came to us from Rebecca of Stars Grove Fibers, right? Yes, this yarn is so amazing. So mine came with a recipe for s'mores brownies. And it she came the stuff to make. with so, some yeah. instant Italian roast coffee from Starbucks. These are fun. I've never seen those before. No. Some chocolate. Some Hershey's, which chocolate. I love. Hers Ooh, I'm going to show that. And then a nice little... It, did this come with mine or yours? Yours. Mine. A little Woodwick. I love wood candle. candles. Me too. I almost bought one yesterday. And look you at did? this little campfire sticker. Isn't it so good for like the s'mores and stuff? Yeah. And then oh, and they some beautiful colorways. yarn. So both of these are on our fingering weight, 75, 25, 415 yard. This one is called, oh, sorry. This one's called Toasted Marshmallow. Mm -hmm. So this is really, really super soft. So you have your beiges and browns and little flecks of oh. orange in here. It's really like It's springy. wonderful, yeah. Right? Beautiful yarn. Like, if I... I wonder. What? No. I was just wondering, like, in my head, if I should throw this in my vertices tonight. But let's just not go there right now. Let's not. That's a private conversation with myself and my other personalities. Because you're a Gemini. <laughs> this is um, Campfire. So this is yellow and orange. Oh There's, like, God, a really dark this color. This is so great. Some speckles here. Oh, it's so this really. I know. It's a really beautiful base. This really nice, dark, almost, like, brown but mm. almost leans like purple yeah. mm. like a cabernet like yeah. a, you know like really really beautiful colors so and this is her her whole camp campfire collection i love it so which is which explains like why you have the, sticker. the stickers and the chocolate and isn't that amazing the yeah. recipe for s'mores brownies how clever was. To put so th a little campfire package together. i know so thank you rebecca and she didn't forget about me she sent um, some yarn my way as well. This is Nessie. And she was so generous. Like, we each got a box. Yes. Like, she mailed it to us on, um, like, on each. The, she mailed them separately. Um, she wrote a beautiful note. She just recently started getting, she just recently started getting into dyeing and some of the things I can't believe it. They're amazing. Um, so she's gonna be linked below. Please check her out. Give her a huge hello. Check her out on all her socials if she's got them as well. So this is Nessie. Oh, I get it. Loch Ness monster. Yeah, right. I was thinking um, Twilight. Net. They call Jake. Remember when Bella wakes up? She's like. That no, he I named, hate that. I know, but he named her Nessie. I mean, maybe that's where she got. And then no, you I think named her Loch Ness after Ness the Loch Ness monster. Duh. Duh. 
Duh. Oh, it smells lovely too. So this is Nessie. This is on her 7525 fingering weight. Superwash Merino, 100 grams, 415 yards. Um, and then this one. This one's fun. Fun is an understatement. This is called Tulip Fields. Those I, are really bright. They're colors. like. They're coming off a little bit more fluorescent, I think, on the. Well, no, our lighting's very different today too than what we normally have. Uh, is this not gorgeous? It is. It's this really is on DK. Color. Look at the rainbow. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say that looks like a much heavier weight. So it DK. is DK, hundred percent superwash, um, four ply, two hundred and forty six yards, hundred grams. Very nice. Isn't it good? Yeah. Rebecca, you did a fantastic job, and she also yeah, sent, it's beautiful yarn. Yeah, and she also sent um, a little pack with for me with some teas and a fun pencil with some dinosaurs on it really really cute oh loch ness monster kind of see the connection and the color of the confetti yeah it matches yes oh my gosh it all made sense to me right now very so it's things like this is very very clever i think um i, I just think it's it's really amazing so Oh, she's also a respiratory therapist. Oh. So thank you for your service. Um, love hearing that. <sighs> right, that and was then we nice, have right? One, yeah. Gosh, everybody is so freaking generous. And then this, we have... <gasps> These, I cannot even believe. So this is from The Quilting Princess. Who has a shop on Etsy. Yep, that's linked below. It is and can also be... So here's her card. Quilting Princess. Where you can find Social her. media infos. She also has a blog. Um, which is quiltingprincess.ca.com. WordPress, WordPress or something like that. Um, if you go... Her Etsy shop, she has all of her stuff there. Um, but this is where you can find, like Kevin said... On Facebook, if you go to her Facebook page, she has everything listed there, um, too. And I'm sure on Instagram. So she sent us these fun mug rugs. So here's mug rug number one. These are incredible. Like, guys, can you it's even? It's all quilted. Right? Here's the back. Ugh. I mean, the color, like... So you wouldn't notice. So you look at this, right? And you're like, oh, it's quilted. But then when you look at the back, look at the quilting. The quilting actually, she quilts the handle and the entire mug itself. So you can see it mm -hmm. on the back. Such a good job. These colors are great. Like I love the green and the brown. It together. totally is like a coffee shop. Like you want to sit down at a coffee shop. Yeah. And then here's this one, another mug, the sheep. And you have your the back. mug is made out of like knitted material. Yeah, it's all yeah. like knits. It looks like stock net stitch. Come on. It's so stinking cute. I love the pop of green. Such a good like, Oh my god, I I can't I've n I can't believe these. They're like placemats for adults. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right. And then Ugh. Y'all these cute little like notions pouches, guys. Look at these. And this... And I love that they have the little, um, like, key ring clip, yeah. clip thing. Yeah, and then the little um, QP for Quilting Princess on yeah. here. And then yeah. inside, got some fun fabric in there on these. Like, little flowers. No. Can I have this one? Yeah, go for it. It actually, that matches this one quite well. Yes. And this, this one matches this I'm one. I'm going to put... So this, I think, is cool. Um, because if you get a... Um, what are those like lobster cl clasps? Yeah, you can. This can be your um, your notions pouch, and you can just clip it onto the bag. Like if this is gonna be the bag I'm gonna take with me tomorrow, I can just clip this, and I have my notions oh. with every bag. Do you know what I'm saying? So what we're saying is go buy one of these for every bag. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, as soon as we get done here, no, she's but... got a lot of stuff in her shop. Yes, so as please. Well. Check out Quilting Princess Shop. And it's very affordable. Shop. The quality of these are amazing. And, like, there's little... I, I know. People are so good. Like, the piecing on here, all the little 
parts that are cut out and like sewn look you together. had to have sewn these like little tiny that's triangles what i just saw i saw that and then i saw like this little white piece right and here between can't... the mug and the yeah. handle like it's so crazy anyway you are so talented what's your yeah, this real what's your first game i to i thought i had like jeanette an right jeanette she's a long arm quilter this has her phone number on it so i don't want to show this um this card it says on her business card but so amazing gushing totally yeah. gushing so over check all out of her this Etsy thank shop. you so much this is below how clever yes i love seeing something different and then so good all right I feel like so i'm whining now now do you have any acquisitions i have yes i have one i have three you do I this do. is a gift this well is, that's a gift but that so went with this yeah so this so it's both so i'll go into acquisitions then we'll do transition so okay i am part of the savvy skeins um she does like a i forget the exact name but it's a bird club so this month's shipment this I is beautiful love yellow this and gray love it this is the um yellow breasted chat so here's the picture of the bird that's inspired it like hello dead on this is Did we ask her where she gets these pictures from? I want to say her daughter. Really? Yeah. So her daughter, I know that when um, I was watching one of her, or watching her on Twitch, I think, and mm -hmm. her daughter does paintings, and they're often like at shows. Yeah. So I really, I want to say it's her daughter, and I can- The be, one who can, just got married? I don't know, but I can be she completely wrong. So this is on her sensible sock base. Sorry for the crinkles. It's uh, 80 20 so it's 420 yards for 100 grams. This is my third shipment, I think. Um, These are beautiful. But she also reached out and said she wanted to send something to us look to what try. she's doing lately. So she's been doing this, and I this is... I don't know how people find time so to do all these things. So what she's been trying, and this is Allison. Allie, yeah. Right, from Savvy Skeins. She has been getting sock tubes, and she's been dyeing the sock tube after it's cranked. So, she sent us a sock tube, so I'm really excited. I want to open it and just to see. All right, let's do it. Because we've never no, worked with I've a never, sock tube. No. She believes, Although we do kind of want to get a sock a, a machine. She did say that this should be <gasps> Look enough. Look how fun! For both of us to get a pair of socks out of. But we can even do shorties, even if it's not So, enough. she sent us this, and then a contrast color. It's time to stand up. It's time to stand up, says um, Apple says Watch. my watch. I've done enough. This so, this week. is a really pretty, like, chest, like... Chocolatey, chestnut brown. Totally. Right. Pecanny. No, chestnut. No, chestnut. <gasps> so here's the sock tube. Oh my god, how fun is this? And so she dyed this this tube. She dyes the tube after it's cranked. This wow. could totally do two socks. Or, right? Four socks? Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. We'll have to measure it. We, we'll make shorties out of them. So I'm really excited. I've never I, done this I, before. Me neither, because I would love to... Ooh, I'm so excited. We've been talking about getting a sock machine because we have so much sock yarn that it kind of would make sense. Yeah. You can't knit it all fast enough. But I would love to try it out. But well, you want to wear it all. I also want to... What, I want to be able to know if I like a cuff that's knit, you know, because you have to pick it up and do... a. Uh, like you, have, you if, have you never done toe-up socks? I've never done toe-up. Oh. So I know that the cuff is a little bit different, so I'm really excited yeah. to try that. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also do the folded. So was it Laura? Or... Le or um, it's... What's her face? Leslie from... Yeah, Leslie does them from um, Knit Girls. She does... When she does these, I don't think she knits like a traditional... Oh, you're ribbing. Right. I think she like folds it down and then tacks it, and that becomes her, her cuff. cuff. So that's what her cuff would look like. Oh, something like that. Oh, so it gives you. It's still stretchy. I, I mean, I I don't know for sure, but I think that's what she does. I've seen. I feel like I've heard her talk that before. Yes, where she just folds it down. And so does the whole thing. Beautiful. Excited to try. Really this. cool. Yeah, I Everything think it's a fun really idea cool. to dye afterwards, almost as if it was a sock blank but yeah. you're not taking apart the did you say blank. that this was woodland stroll oh no i'm sorry this is called woodland stroll yeah 
So I wonder I, if these are like repeatable colors. Oh my God, how perfect is that? Well, no, it's not. I mean, yeah, the colors she uses would be repeatable. So, But it's like a sock blank, right? Almost, just yeah, in a different kind of. way. Oh, I love this. I know, I'm super excited So. For that. I don't know. what Do you know the details if she's putting these in her shop or if she's um, just I, something I, that she's just testing? I know. Were I, we not supposed to show this? All right. Oh, oh here comes Tarquin. Tarquin's. Um, no, I think it's in her shop. Okay. I'm going to just go now. I mean, it looks, it looks like it should be. So that is it for every. Don't, for everything. Um, that was from Owl Post. Owl Post. Hey, books. Why are you in the bathroom? He's looking for a sock. Oh. He wants to find a dirty sock to show us. Hi. Yes, they're Talking on her. The attention. Yes, they are on oh. her site. Oof. So we didn't. <gasps> Look how fun. So this, some of them too. Like, oh look, she has Venice oh Beach, which I really. Oh my god. So she has um, '80s girl, cotton candy. Venice Beach, Happy Place, Woodland Stroll, and Rusty, Rusty truck. truck. How fun is this? So yeah, check out. Yeah, um, you'll find her below. Her shop. It's a good price too. You get that giant tube and a um. Yeah, and I, a I mini. I've worked with her yarn before, actually, in my previous yeah, her I love her, yarn. her yarns in there. Yeah. So that is Ala Post, and let's move on to Break in the Bank. So Breaking stuff that the we bank. bought for ourselves. I only have one. Oh no, we have a few. We uh, I yeah, we don't have much. I have these two. Okay. So I, after watching Bearded Pearl and getting envy from them, I made a purchase from Woolen and Nash. Jumped down from that Michelle. Hole. How hard is it to choose colors from her? Because Incredibly they're also hard. amazing. This one is. As soon as I saw this color, though. Like, all of them are amazing, but I saw this. I was like, that one I have to have. This is... Oh, crap. What's the color? <coughs> Isn't it like uh, winter? <coughs> it's snow something, I think. Oh, no. I don't know. Hmm. Can you look it up on your phone, please? Sure, I can try. Thank you. No guarantee. So it is a DK weight self-striping yarn, which I wanted to try forever. So I'm going to make some DK weight socks out of this. It is 100... Percent superwash merino. Can I make socks out of 100% superwash merino DK, or should I do it with nylon? Can maybe I'll do a hat? Um, you could. I think you can do socks. It I just, could do. It, it just will be different. I could do. Um, I could do a Lyle cap out of this. That would be really cute. A different really one. Cute, yeah. So yeah, I just love the. Um, what? Softly falling snow. Oh, okay. Wow, you went a roundabout way. I thought you were going to go to her website. No, I went to the... But there's another one there called, I think, per Percolate? Percolate. Oh, yeah. Percolate, it's like a coffee Which is really, really nice. Type. I want yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's a really nice color. So this is lovely. It's got green and blue. What's the one? Like a called? little purple, almost like a lavender in here. Um, so I'm excited for this. Me too. Maybe I can have your leftovers. And then my last one. Sorry, I, I, I got I got stuck. I know. I'm just Instagram. like what he just People started posting, scrolling through Instagram. I'm like, because I was just looking. Uh, Jewel B makes did has her um her shawl and she tagged she tagged the and she she like triple dipped. And this is my May 2021 Downton Abbey Club upstairs and downstairs. So this says, Lady Edith's Love Affair with Michael Gregson pink. seems harmless by today's standards. Oh, it was very scandalous. Really? It looks scandalous. Yeah. Your eyes told Their it all. Their intentions and love was clear. When Michael goes missing, oh, he... Shh, don't tell my brother. Are you drunk? <laughs> no. So let's see. We have Marigold. It's I really think, pretty. Yeah. yeah. And this is Switzerland. Really, really nice. It's actually really pretty. Yeah. When is that over? I have no idea. Mm. I don't know how long I've been getting this for. I, I don't know. She keeps just she keeps sending them to you. She sure does. So maybe I might. Just, maybe I think it's I might like have on year three. I might have to end it soon. 
She's have, got a lot of other cool clubs. Too, she does. There's a lot of clubs out there, and I know I would like to try some other clubs, maybe. Mm -hmm. So I think in order to do so, I need to end because currently I'm now part of three clubs. So my club ended. This uh, what I'm gonna show. Can I go next? Yeah, you're. I'm done. So this is my last um, installment of Trilogy Yarns uh, Happy Hour Club. Ooh. Begging your pardon. <clears throat> And this has been really fun. I have been a little bit envious of... Oh my gosh, this is great. This is called Rum Sunset. I'm taking the ball band off. Isn't it a great... Yeah. So she's basing her colorways on specific cocktails. And she sends every month she sends the recipe for the cocktail. This is rum sun sunset. It's got orange juice, light rum, grenadine, some lime slices. That sounds really refreshing. And so you can see like the grenadine would make sense. You know, the little speckles in there. These has been these have been really fun. I think I'm going to so my subscription ended and her clubs are cool because she gives you like she doesn't automatically renew them. So once your three months are up, um, you can decide to re-up. At that point, if you want to, you just repurchase. And then three months later, you'll have the same choice. Um, no pressure, no harm, no foul if you don't want to continue. Um, I think I'm going to move on to the um, Princess Bride club that she has because yeah. it's a sock set. And I kind of like that idea. So I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence there. But this I love. So Yeah, kind of some sunset. of those colors remind me of Sunset and also like Butterscotch. Yeah. There's one in there that really has a I really I would pretty, I would drink this. Um Butterscotch feel to it. Yeah. So that is that. Well, we have our last purchases which we, we didn't, which we talk, didn't talk about. about. So Growing up here in Stratford, we used to have, it was the first weekend typically in June, um, it's Stratford Day. It would be a Sunday event from like late morning to early evening, like we'll say 10 to 5, something like a street like fair. So it's a street fair. They close down the whole center of town and they have food vendor or like food vendors back then, like when we were young, because there were no food trucks back then. No, they were just they um, were like so little booths. food vendors and just a bunch of like arts and crafts type of booths. So yeah. some activities, we been, yeah, clubs. There was a local things. Which we'll call it too, like a not a carnival, but kind of like they had some rides for the kids in the back by yeah. um, whatever. Yeah. So we hadn't gone in years. It was this last weekend, so we decided to go check it out, and we had a bunch of food trucks, some vendors, and some local things. But then. On our way out, we saw a woman. It was also selling. ninety degrees. Yes, it was not comfortably hot by any no. means, and there was no shade. No shade, but we did find a woman who was selling some um, hand-thrown pottery items. Oh my gosh! And I've been, you guys, if you've been here for a while, you know I was obsessed with the John the Potter. Well, John the Potter and oh his, yeah. His, his mugs are quite expensive, and yeah. I couldn't see myself spending that amount of money on a coffee mug. They're like $70. Yeah, his mugs are like, seven, I would say like 60 and above. Yeah. And I don't know if that's normal, right. but we went to this woman's booth. This is um, Peep Frog Pottery. She actually does not have a storefront. No. Like on you, Etsy or Facebook or anything. On no Facebook, website. you she has um, her events that she's going to be yeah, at. Yeah, but you would reach out to her. But this was... So we oh. each picked up a mug. I think they're freaking adorable. adorable. They're so good. They were. You can. Hear I thought that, they like, were reasonably priced. These were priced at twenty five dollars. Yeah, they were so. I so thought they I were thought, so affordable. Yeah, I love um, that they're just. Me too. I just love the colors. I love the colors. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? For whatever reason, I see this and I think of um, Indiana Jones and the Goblet of Fire. Um, not the. <laughs> What? <laughs> that should be the next Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones and the Goblet of Fire. And the Goblet of Fire. Um, no, but like I don't know why. I think it's the inside, the shape of it, for whatever reason. I think of Indiana Jones and the Last, right, Last Crusade. 
I don't know. I thought it was Goblet yeah. of Fire. So for who the hell do I know? So yeah, and like this little detail here, like a see-through. Yeah, so cool. Is that a smiley face? No. She has um so she had other ones that were dragonflies. Yes. So the handle was like a dragonfly. If you go to her Facebook, we'll have her um contact information listed below. You can see the link will take you to one of the fairs um sites like a, a artistic convention thing. And you can see the pictures, and she's got, like, a dragonfly. It kind of, like, sits like this. Yeah, really good stuff. Really neat. She had bowls and yeah. plates and a bunch and of stuff. And it was stuff. really nice. They used um, one of their bowls. Some people brought their dogs yeah. out, which I never would have done in 90-degree weather on that cement. It was so hot. Yeah, I yeah I wouldn't on that. But they had they had uh, water bowls for the dogs, which, which was, was really cool. Yeah. So that was so, nice. Yeah, we were happy with a, that purchase. Yeah, so excited All right, for so, that. Uh, we also got two giant bags of kettle corn we did which are no longer here in this house yes there's still some left there's still a little bit left of both no i threw one of them away originally there were only crumbs left oh okay i love kettle corn i love kettle corn popped in that giant kettle that they have at fairs and carnivals i've tried the store brand kettle corn and that's fine in a pinch but the the real stuff, it was really really good. It was. That's it's very good. One of them was that. maple flavor, which didn't have a overly. Maple. I didn't think it was. Maple. I wonder if it was just more of a sugary coating on it than regular, which I didn't pay attention Maybe. to. Neither did I. Um, anyway, it was delicious. So that is all of the purchasing and stuff like that. We do have before we jump into um, television and what we've been reading. Typically, I've been showing like stuff that I've been dying and that might be in the Etsy shop. Hi, handsome. Hi, folks. We'll be done in a couple minutes. Tarquin will not be in the Etsy shop. He will not be. Although, so, he's been... I do not have... I didn't bring up any yarn. Um, I've dyed a little bit this week, but actually this week's been pretty busy where I haven't dyed as much as I had yeah. liked. But we did get something in the mail that we've been talking about for a while that we will have in the Etsy shop. So we got these came in over the last two weeks so we had got some needles at the ready enamel pins yeah. so we did it in the logo we might in the future do one with the if you guys remember we have a logo with a black background yeah. which is really really nice too and i think mm -hmm. it would look cool for the pin but we are super happy with the way that these came out yeah it was fun a lot of you were asking if we had any pins or merchandise yeah or merch or stuff like that and we weren't sure where to start or what to yeah. do but we really like the idea of the pins yeah so we um, love a good pin yeah so i'm just super pleased with the way that these came out me too they did so, a good job i plan on doing an etsy update at the end of the month probably the last i think it's the last sunday of june mm -hmm. these are the one inch pins no they're one and a half inch oh one and a so half. they're one and a half inch um enamel pins yeah we thought that would be good to start i believe with. aren't they cool i love them i really do i couldn't be happier they're like shimmery um so the last sunday of the month is when the shop update will be so it's going to be june 27th um that we will have these in the shop so that's that so when you're picking up your yarn yeah pick up a pin we have plenty okay so that's the shop a little bit of shop stuff maybe i'll talk more about that on sunday yeah too. Maybe we can do that on sunday so sunday will be fun yeah, we'll so get to hang out with you guys and answer your questions and chat about some of our male influencers and patterns and things and also talk about maybe some shop news. So let's talk about what Show we've been um, reading and watching. So let's start with watching first. Okay. Watching. So much. Guys. Maybe not. No, because it's really been two shows. Okay. Mayor of Easttown. <gasps> Mayor of Easttown. We didn't oh talk about God. this yet. No, because we literally watched it. Are you sure? I feel last, like... I think we watched it last week. Over a two-day period. Seven. It's either seven or nine episodes. One of those. Two days. Done. And fantastic. Kate fantastic. Winslet is so good. The story is so good. There is a twist in every freaking episode. Totally. You don't. You do. You don't know what you know until the very end. The truth, and then you're like, "Yep." 
Yes. And, and then you're like, no. It's, I don't know, the acting's fantastic. So I thought the acting was so good. The characters were so believable. I thought, um, you know, when you, when the first episode, it, it didn't, like, start out slow and, like, you know, massive character developing. It's like you just kind of got dropped yeah. into their world. It was like right? you were on Google Things Maps. Were- and you know, yeah. like you're on Google Maps and you drop the guy to where you want to see. Yep. And that's just what Boom. happened. And you're just like in the middle of it. You're right alongside of her and her day to day life. She is a um, detective Detective in the small town. East town, Pennsylvania. Yep. And, um, and there's just a little bit of a tragedy. And it's this story, her investigating. Well, big tragedy. Well, yeah, big tragedy. Sure. Investigating this tragedy and... Just how it affects the people yeah. there and affects her. And really, like, the characters were so believable. There were definitely moments. I mean, I feel like I feel was, like people, could, you could relate to a lot of the characters on there. You know when you're watching something, you're like, oh, it's a small town. You can't really relate to them or, you know, whatever. I feel like you can relate or you know somebody in your life that maybe is going through something similar or whatever. I thought it was really, really I thought, good. for me, it was one of those shows where I watched it and... It made me really appreciate the amount of time that people who write shows and showrunners and producers, how much effort they put into the little details and how you don't know how those little details are going to affect the story until way later on. Because you're watching and and you may think to yourself, like, why are we seeing this? Like, it has nothing to do with what's going on. But... Five episodes down the road, it comes right back to him, you know, yeah. this moment here. And you're like, oh, I get it. And, you know, and kudos to the people who put the time and effort to think who can see that, you know, those like story birds, boards, rather how it's going. This is going to end up over here. It was really, really good. It, I don't know. It was one of the best shows I've watched in a really long time. I agree. Thought. I completely agree with you. Um, and then so once we finish that, there's a void in our life. That we needed to fill. And we didn't know what that was. And after scrolling through Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO Max for two hours, we decided that I had previously watched some of Lucifer. Ray had never watched it. Nope. So we decided to throw Lucifer on, and we are now sucked into that universe. Fully Im- Im- like embedded into their universe. And we are almost done with season two, I believe. We probably have like three episodes left of if season that. two. Yeah, if that. We're, I think we're, we're close. pretty close. So yeah. I know my first time around, I stopped somewhere in season three. So I know that there's five seasons now. So we have a good number of episodes to watch for that. Um, and then probably the rest of it's just been like our normal knitting podcast. And yeah, and some of the Irish people try. Irish people try because you know yeah, I'm obsessed. That's great. We're going to watch Loki tonight. We will watch Loki tonight. We'll catch up on some other podcasts tonight. Yeah, there's a few of them. We're um, in the middle of watching On the Needles right now with Nancy and Kathleen. We are. So that's, I think that's kind of been our watching. Our, you know what I find interesting too? I don't know if you noticed this with us being off during the week. Like, when we wake up in the morning and we sit down in the living room, we're having our coffee and we're knitting, we actually don't throw the no. TV on. Our TV pretty pretty much doesn't go on until late afternoon. Mm-hmm. And then that's just kind of like when we're settling in for the rest of the evening. Yeah. I, I, I've noticed that a lot lately. I think probably because we're most productive early in the day. True. So we know, like, let's not get sucked into the TV. I can knit a couple rows. I got to get up. You know, the dog's going to cry. Maybe he wants right. to play. We're going to go for a WOK, you know. I don't know, whatever. I know. What about what we've been reading? What we've been reading. I finished the second book in the Grishaverse. Oops. Siege the Shadow and Bones. Um, no, Siege and... Siege and Storm is book two. Storm is book two. So I finished that. And now I am on the third book, which is uh, something that I'm pulling up Rise, right rise. now. And I think you're right. I'm really bad at names. Um, yeah, so I finished Siege and Storm, and I'm reading Ruin and Rising. Okay. Um, and that's book three, the last book of the Shadow and Bone trilogy, but not the last book, obviously, in the Grishaverse. That's by Sarah, no, by Lee uh, Bertigo. Bertigo. Um, I am 
really enjoying this now. Uh, book two, book two was good. Was really good. There were a lot of like death and stuff. Yeah, um, book two was darker. It was. It was very dark, especially towards the end. You know, yes. you wanna you want to um, always like assume that the good guys are gonna win. You know, and the bad guys kind of won in book two. Not to ruin everything for you at all, but. No, it um, was unexpected. It's it was. Not... I didn't expect... You know, you always expect, like, the main character to, like, come through right. at the end and just plow them all away and we're okay for now kind of thing. Yeah. You know, but there was that... There was no we're okay for now at the end of book two. Um, at least I didn't I didn't feel that way. It made me want to immediately start book three, which I did. And so I'm on book three right now. I'm really enjoying book three. I feel like it's uh, a little bit more of like a sophisticated type of read. Like I feel like there's some maturity there. Uh, the main character I think is now a little bit more seasoned and you can like, she's more confident in herself. And I can almost like read yeah. that she's... in the way that the author is, um, is like making the decisions on how she's saying things and what she's saying. If that makes any sense. Um, so I don't know where I'm at. I'm probably about a third of the way through maybe. Okay. Right now, um, and it kind of it starts off. It doesn't start off slow. It starts off at a, a good pace, and it's been a, a good moderate pace so far all the way through. So far, okay, has been good, and that's that. So I am reading. I started reading a book, and I returned it. You did. I did because oh, it was um, a shifter book that, and I. Like the, I like the synopsis of it. Yeah. And I remember reading books by that same author. And then I started reading this book. And in it, male shifters who are omegas can go into heat. And that just didn't sit well I'm with me. It. it just, like, it's weird. So I was like, I know I didn't enjoy that aspect of the of shifters in the previous book. So I returned it. So what I decided to do was continue on i have been reading the soul bound series by Haley turner i read the first four books um books five and six have since come out and book seven is coming out i think this year which i just saw is going to be a conclusion and the series will be over so i'm excited for that because i'm always afraid that a series is going to hi bubs he's on the table what are you doing what are you doing Cat kisses? he was crying he was crying we're almost done. We're almost done. Say Did you hello say, to your people. Look, say hi over there. Yeah. Tark. Let's get off the table. Are you a good boy? You've been a good boy today? Yeah. All so right. I've been reading that. This is continuing with the um, Patrick and Juno and their pack. And we are now have been in London and in Paris in this. So um, it's the same big bad throughout the book. And then I was like, oh, it can get kind of annoying. But then I was like, oh, Voldemort was the big bad through all of Harry Potter books. True. So all six I, of them. Yeah, so it's fine. This is going to be a seven book series. I, I, It's funny how much I'm enjoying it. And I remember I wasn't a big fan of the main character in the first book. He kind of annoyed me. But I do like him so much now. So I will continue reading five and six and wait for seven to come out. Nice. Nice. And I believe that's everything, y'all. It is. I'm going to... I heard from a friend of ours who we knit with um, that the second book in The in um, the Awakening, by Nora Roberts. book two, will be coming out soon. And she, re she listened to hers. Thank you. <laughs> she listened to hers on uh, audiobooks. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same for, for book two. See, leave my eye books alone. Leave my eye gooks alone. All right. All right, everybody. Well, it, it has been, been so much fun. fun. Um, don't forget, we're doing a live this Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, it'll probably run for like an hour, hour and a half. If you'd like to, feel free to stop in, have any questions, ask questions. We're going to just chit chat and we'll talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about Let's Hear It for the Boys yep. and showcase some cool peeps on there. Um, and yeah, and with the, you know, I'm just going to... Um, do a little plug like and subscribe the video to the video or to us well you can't subscribe to a video right no to the to channel us. okay subscribe to the channel because sometimes when we do our lives it's uh on the whim 
kind of thing. We'll give like a day or two notice, but not everybody watches. True. So this way you'll get notified, you know, if we do a live and we're going to do a few more of those. So, yeah, we haven't done one in a while. So we yeah. thought it would be a good time. And then we thought, hey, we don't have anything going on on Sunday. So we can throw one in, spend spend a little time with you guys in chat. I love and, doing that. I really yeah. do. I love meeting um, everybody. So I think that's it. And then other than that, we'll be back for another episode in two more weeks. In a fortnight. In a fortnight. So until then, I hope you guys have a good two weeks. Enjoy all your crafting. And we will see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Everyone.